th there are some indications in hadith that uh, would led Muslim scholars to think that music is haram. And for many centuries, Muslim societies um, uh, largely governed themselves on this basis, and everything was fine. People delighted in the recitation of the Quran and uh, other things that kept Muslims busy and entertained uh, in, in Muslim culture. Now we're living in a situation where we're, music is all pervading and it's, it's difficult to avoid. Now if we rule that music is haram or for, forbidden, we place many Muslims in a situation where they feel trapped. Uh, you, you cannot avoid listening to music. So there's all go this. To the mall. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So all this music, all this haram is constantly piping into your ears. And, uh, and, and this leads to a sort of extremism when you feel like you're so trapped and you, you really need to do something desperate to change the environment because the environment is so absolutely fundamentally corrupt. So can we really live with this as a practical measure? So uh, what th th that sort of situation prompts many like myself to go back to the texts and see, like, why did we think that music is haram in the first place? Because for something to be haram, it has to be clearly said by God in the Quran or said by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in a, in a saying which is really authentic and clear. There are two things. The, thing, the saying has to be authentic and it also has to be clear. It's just something vague. You cannot imagine that something will uh, fall, uh, cause you to fall into hell and the Prophet, peace be upon him, only gives a vague uh, indication of it. Uh, of you would expect that he would say very clearly, look guys, if you do this thing, you're going to fall into hell, so don't do this. Um, and the Quran would likewise say in very clear language that the thing is forbidden. Well, first of all, there's nothing clear in the Quran about music. There is something about lahu al-hadith, uh, and, and that uh, is a reference to poetry which people were using to turn people away from the Quran. It's not like somebody reading the Quran and also listening to some music. It's, like it's one or the, away, yeah. or the other. As for the hadith, there is nothing, uh, n no authentic hadith uh, related from the Prophet, peace be upon him, in which clearly he depicts uh, music to be Haram. So, uh, in, in short, we cannot say that something like this is haram because we don't have any mandate from God or from His Prophet to say that. Thank you. For